hello everyone uh, today we'll cover a topic that comes under medical surgical nursing that is a gynecological topic known as pelvic inflammatory diseases uh, this pelvic inflammatory diseases it is a major uh, cause for getting infertility and uh, ectopic pregnancy uh, first we'll see what is the meaning of pelvic inflammatory diseases uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases or pid uh, it is a uh, infection and inflammation uh, syndrome that takes place in the genital tract mainly upper uh, genital tract affects the uh, endometrium of the uterus fallopian tube ovary uh, perimetrium uh, peritoneum and the vascular system uh, this may be of uh, acute subacute chronic recurrent uh, localized and generalized infection due to uh, primary or uh, secondary uh, infection of organisms uh, uh, we'll see what are the upper uh, genital tract infections uh, first one is uh, endometritis endometritis means infection and inflammation of the endometrium of uterite uh, uterus uh, second one is uh, uh, salpingitis salpingitis means infection and inflammation of uh, uh, fallopian tube or ov duct uh, third one is uh, oophoritis that is infection and inflammation of ovary and uh, uh, fourth one is uh, uh, perimetrium that uh, perimetritis that is infection and inflammation of the broad ligament and perito uh, peritoneum uh, layer of the uterus then next uh, one is uh, uh, peritonitis then inflammation of the peritoneal cavity and later they can go with the complication of tubo ovarian abscess uh, then next septicemia also this can be give uh, go with rupture and intrahepatic uh, uh, infection also can be happen for the women. Uh, next, we'll see what is the incidence. Incidence, if you see, uh, globally 113 million women are uh, affected. Uh, that is a sexually active or reproductive age women are affected with the pelvic inflammatory diseases. In India, 5 to 10 percentage of women are affected with pelvic inflammatory diseases. And they will go with uh, uh, complications of uh, uh, tubo ovarian uh, uh, abscess uh, rupture and even hysterectomy can be done and uh, ectopic uh, pregnancies uh, infertility problems and nowadays we can see uh, less than 25 years of age uh, group also they are uh, getting with pelvic inflammatory diseases uh, next what is the uh, etiology etiology mainly organisms organisms such as primary organism if you see sexually transmitted diseases uh, the organisms such as uh, Neisseria, Gonorrhea, it is a common one, 80 percentage causes. Uh, the next one is uh, um, uh, trochomatous uh, infections. Uh, this uh, trochomatous infections also uh, uh, equally important and mixed infections. Uh, so in mixed infection then second uh, secondary organism second uh, organism such as aerobic anaerobic gram positive gram negative organisms the, such as uh, streptococcus staphylococcus clostridium welchi uh, e coli and uh, non hemolytic uh, streptococcus group b hemolytic uh, streptococcus uh, then next bacteriocytes uh, 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 infections and other infections like uh, fungal infection candida albicans uh, uh, parasite, trypanodium pallidum and HIV infections, uh, uh, other sexually transmitted infections also can be happen for pelvic inflammatory diseases. Uh, next, uh, uh, we will see what are the risk factors. Risk factors, if you see uh, the woman uh, uh, who is having a uh, uh, childbirth, post childbirth uh, or post abortion, abortion and any uh, uh, surgical histories like a DNC uh, procedure, any uh, uh, surgical uh, uh, operations in the uh, uterine cavities and uh, if they have a slow socioeconomic group a douching procedure that is the cleaning of the uh, vagina not use of uh, contraceptives uh, uh, multiple sexual partners uh, in a frequent uh, uh, sexual intercourse young age uh, adolescent age they are going with the sexual intercourse and uh, the partners uh, uh, they have any uh, sexually transmitted diseases or uh, like that previous history of uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases present history of sexually transmitted diseases these are the uh, risk factors and as we will see pathology uh, if you see uh, pathophysiology uh, normally the vaginal defense uh, is mainly achieved by the organisms and the hormones this will be inactive 
uh, after the uh, pregnancy that is the childbirth period abortion period menstruation period post menopausal period so these women are more commonly uh, can they get pelvic inflammatory diseases due to the etiological and risk factors what happen ascending infections will be there the infections will be uh, present in the vagina this will be move into the cervix cervicitis will be there then the uh, infections will be uh, moved into the uterus the uterus will be infected and next in the uh, fallopian tube in the fallopian tube uh, infections will be spread and the cilia uh, the mucus lining will be affected and the uh, motility of the fallopian tube will be affected the fallopian tube will be closed in the abdominal ostia uh, with a fluid collection then it is known as a hydrosalfins uh, when it is later formed like pus collection that is uh, uh, known as the pyosalfins and abscess uh, formation will be there uh, when there is a leakage of uh, uh, fluid from the abdominal ostia it can even uh, spread inside the ovary uh, then next it will form like a uh, ovarian abscess uh, later it can go with uh, peritonitis and tubo ovarian uh, abscess formation that e even it can go with uh, rupture and affects the uh, hepatic region also fits had high cortex syndrome will be present serious complication for the women can be happen next we will see what is the clinical manifestation clinical manifestation the women having the complaints of irregular uh, vaginal uh, bleeding menstrual bleeding uh, vaginal discharge uh, purulent vaginal discharge will be there excessive and uh, uh, mal, uh, high body temperature fever uh, malaise uh, uh, then next uh, feeling of sick uh, uh, then they can have uh, uh, symptoms of uh, dizziness nausea vomiting uh, bilateral abdominal pain uh, then next women will have uh, uh, symptoms of uh, um, um, uh, pelvic pain leg pain uh, flank pain will be there and uh, uh, the, no, uh, these are the major clinical manifestation next we will see diagnostic evaluation diagnostic evaluation has first we have to go with the detailed history collection physical examination abdominal examination pelvic examination vaginal examination vaginal examination we can find the uh, vaginal discharge uh, then next uh, uh, bilateral vaginal uh, uh, enlargement will be there and uh, uh, they will have the uh, edematous in the urinary meatus having the complaints of uh, maturations uh, dysuria and uh, they can have uh, uh, we can see the opening of the bartholin uh, gland uh, pain in the cervix when it is uh, moving uh, so these are the major signs then ultrasonography uh, then next we can see the laparoscopy laparoscopy we can identify the uh, uh, tubal damage uh, hydrosulfus pyosulfux uh, and uh, we can see the tubo ovarian uh, abscess can be found out violin string uh, due to the adhesion of the tube this can be uh, found out ultra uh, then next the mri ct scan uh, can be uh, detected and swab test swab test high swab test uh, uh, from the vagina uh, cervical swab and urethral swab can be collected and find out what is the organism then called uh, caldosynthesis that is aspiration of fluid from the pouch of ductless so these are the major diagnostic uh, evaluation and uh, all blood uh, blood investigations like uh, hemoglobin uh, uh, esr uh, c reactive protein leukocytosis will be there uh, so this all can be done next we'll see what is the management management uh, uh, first one is uh, 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 com hospital outpatient care also can be given if it is a mild thing and we can give antibiotics uh, if the symptom is severe hospitalization complete bed rest uh, antibiotic uh, administration like uh, gentamicin clindamycin uh, cefetrioxin uh, cefiotisin metronidazole uh, therapy can be given and uh, uh, the women having serious uh, uh, complications if suppose uh, antibiotic therapy uh, the abscess is not reduced infection is not reduced means we can go with uh, surgical uh, procedures like laparotomy finding uh, self injectomy oophorectomy severe uh, condition is there they can go with uh, uh, removing the uh, uterus that is the hysterectomy partial or complete as we will see the complication complication uh, uh, immediate complications like a shock septicemia uh, then uh, uterine adhesions uh, uh, tubo ovarian uh, rupture uh, 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 will be there uh, bleeding will be there for the women uh, endotoxic uh, uh, shock can be happen 
and uh, met, uh, women death also can be happen uh, peritonitis uh, uh, will be occur uh, then next one is later later she can go with infertility ectopic pregnancy uh, dyspareunia and uh, other gynecological problems are recurrence of uh, uh, pid uh, sexually transmitted uh, uh, diseases so these are the major uh, complications uh, next uh, we will see what is the nurses Uh, role as a nurse uh, uh, when we are taking care of the gynecological condition of uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases we have to generally assess the uh, mother um, assess the woman all the reproductive age uh, use of the barrier technique of contraceptives uh, measures uh, uh, advise the woman for uh, go with uh, uh, single uh, partners uh, mostly the condition will be asymptomatic uh, so all the reproductive age group can be assessed for the screening uh, measures and early detection of uh, uh, pid can be done and mass education and uh, uh, reporting of the cases early identification and the treatment this will uh, uh, give a better results for reducing future complication so today we have seen about uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases what are the causes what is the pathophysiology clinical manifestation diagnostic evaluation management and nurses role so i am signing off mrs nima next video will meet again thank you